Hi students, today we will discuss about execution unit. In the last class, I explained calculation of physical address. In the before that class, I explained bus interface unit. Please, if you didn't see the video, please go through the all these videos. This is very very helpful to you. If you know these basics, you can very very easily understand the further further right. Now we will go about execution unit, right? So bus interface unit. What is the use of bus interface units? Come on, students, tell me. Bus interface unit. What is the use of bus interface unit? That is my question. You tell me. Try to tell me the answer. Bus interface unit is used to fetch the instruction which is available in the memory, which is available in the memory. Now, why should we calculate physical address? Next question. My next question. Why should we calculate physical address? Why? Because the address bus size is 20 bit, but all our register size are 16 bit. In order to access 20 bit address bus, we must calculate physical address. The uh, formula for the physical address is segment address into 10H plus offset address. Each segment address is having one particular dedicated offset address. For suppose let us consider for core segment the dedicated offset address is available in the instruction pointer. For core segment the instruction point the data will be available offset address will be available in the instruction pointer. Now after fetching the instruction the data will be transferred through the, the data will be transferred through the the C bus and it will goes to the Q. What is the size of the Q? The size of the Q is how much? 6 byte. The size of the Q is 6 byte. Please dear students try to understand the size of the bus size is how much 6 byte. So BIU waits for 2 bytes to fill the queue. Remember BIU waits for 2 bytes that means 16 bits to fill the queue not only for 1 byte. If you 1 byte is free the data will not transfer to the queue. If the queue is empty for 2 bytes then only the data will be transferred through the instruction queue. Then only the data is transferred to the instruction queue. So this is very very helpful right. So bus interface unit. Now my question another my question is sir I am typing the program in the keypad. While I am typing the keypad how the data will be saved in the memory. How the data will be saved in the memory please tell me. I am typing the program suppose I am typing the program like move al comma bl. I am typing the program like what move al comma bl. Now so that the same like this only the data will be saved in the memory. Tell me I already explained this in the previous classes in the previous classes I explained what is it when I am typing the program if you want to save the this program into the memory the data will be available in the memory is in terms of binary format only who will convert this data is program into uh, binary format or machine level language which one the data will be converted into machine language by using assembler using assembler assembler converts this assembly language into the binary language or machine level language or object file right now so now in that instructions what i am telling in that instructions the data is available in that instruction what is there data data is available now you tell me now you tell me now so the data will be comes here right each instruction is having what each instruction is having separate opcode each instruction is having separate opcode that opcode is available here that is means in the here that means the opcode will be available here right now 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 what is execution unit now we are coming to the point execution unit execution unit simply execute the instructions simply what execution unit will do the execution unit simply execute the instructions how it will execute the instructions so how it the data which is available in the queue so generally the data is available here right in the queue so what is the first data will come here first it will in first instruction that will goes to the control system that will goes to the control system what the control system operation control system now it is coming here the control system means if the control system will give different types of control signals it gives different types of control signals how it will give the control signals how it will give the control signals so here actually here it perform decoding here it will perform decoding decoding means what what i told exactly tell me decoding means understanding the opcode understanding the opcode right so just now explain just now when i am writing the program in the my computer 
if you the, uh, the program will be stored in the memory in terms of in terms of binary language that is called nothing but opcode that is nothing but what opcode if you want to access that opcode simply we have to calculate the physical address from that physical address uh, fetch the instruction from memory from that you can the data will be shared in the memory now the data is which is available in the queue is which, which format that is called opcode operational code now this control system what you will do now this control system simply understand simply understand the top code suppose let us consider in this first in this it is there 0 1 1 0 is there in 0 1 1 0 let us consider this is op code this is considered this is op code simply what it will do the control system will understand this they understand each instruction is having separate op code so uh, by using that table this control this control system will give different signals when we are giving this different signals it gives it gives to the uh, all the execution unit you have to add uh, perform this operation or they have to perform addition or automatic operation what it has to do it will it gives different control signals different control signals what you have to perform like this it will give different control signals please try to understand please try to understand please try to understand what is that so control system will give different types of control signals whether you have to perform which operation addition operation or we have to perform store operation we have to perform exchange operation what we have to perform what we have to perform all these things will give control system now now coming to the next part now coming to the uh, here here see mm, now coming to this part what is this this is AH, AL, BH, BL, CH, CL, DH, DL. I already told what are the register size of our 8086 microprocessor. The register size of microprocessor is 16 bit. Our register size of microprocessor is 16. If you consider the starting bit is 0, the maximum bit is how much? 15 bit. The maximum bit is 15 bit. So if you call it is AX register, it is called it is AX register. And this uh, AX register is divided to 8 bit registers AL and AH and bx register this is divided into bh and bl cx register cl and ch dx register dl and dh right right please try to understand so that means that means if you consider this is ax register the 0 to 7 and 8 to 15 0 to 7 8 to 15 this is called ah and this is called al if you consider this is ax register if you consider this is ax register right like this this is these registers are called as general purpose registers these registers are called as general purpose registers what is the use of these general purpose registers to calculate any addresses no no the simple the simple uh, meaning of these general purpose is simply stores the data whenever you are writing the program we simply we are using these registers simply we are using these registers you can use as usual we can use whatever you like right so these are the, now coming to sp bp sp bp si di what is the use of this we can use it is offset addresses for these segment registers offset addresses for these segment registers to calculate the physical address segment is to calculate the physical addresses right so dear students please pay attention what is the use of these general purpose registers for saving the data in stack pointer base pointer is for calculating the physical address I uh, used as a offset addresses now now what happened now that these ALU what is the ALU will perform already I told in the past this is one all are in rectangular shape except these two they all are in rectangular shape except these two this is the first one and this is the second one what is the use of this arithmetic logic unit it will perform arithmetic and different logical operations after performing the operation what it will do suppose see suppose add add AL comma BL add AL comma BL that means suppose let us consider suppose let us consider uh, move AL comma 04H move uh, BL comma 05H next add AL comma BL and we are going into the program see what is the use of this move AL comma 04 that means the AL, what is the value of AL? 0, 4, H. So always remember this is destination and this is source. This is destination and this is source. Now what is the value of AL? AL is 0, 4. What is the value of BL? Now you tell me 0, 5, H. After that what, what you will come? 0, 4 and 0, 5. What is the answer? 0, 9. Why, where the result will be stored? The result will be again stored into this AL. The result will be again stored into this AL. So this is what I am telling. See, now you please... 
now you please understand what it will happen now you please understand right see first what happen first here it will come 0 4 first it will come 0 4 here it will come 0 5 uh, this arithmetic unit what it will perform it perform arithmetic operation right the where it will come the signal that comes from this control system you perform addition operation right add add is having separate op code from that op code uh, it, it control system will understand so we have to perform addition operation from that it will give these two now we after performing the addition operation here the value what is the value after 0 9 again the 0 9 will be goes to the which register al register again it will goes to the al register right so it will perform addition operation then again it will goes to the addition operation so what is the use of these flags what is the use of these flags flags are giving gives the status what is meant by status what is meant by status suppose let us consider i am adding two bits so 1 1 what is the addition of 1 1 1 plus 1 is how much in binary sum 0 carry 1 so we are getting carry so these all these all will gives here flag whether we are getting carry or not whether we are getting overflow or not whether we are getting even parity or odd parity right all this well whether which type of auxiliary carry we are getting or not this this will the flags will gives the status flags will gives the status of our uh, arithmetic and logical operation calculations status of our arithmetic and logical operation calculations dear students please try to understand in the operands what it will store in the operands already i told move al comma 25 h 25 h is the operand 25 h is the operand so this is the operation of total architecture right this class i explained execution unit the previous class what i explained physical address calculation in the previous class bus interface unit once you go through these three videos these three videos and before that architecture these four if you go once at once once at a time then you can clearly understand how the instructions will fetching and decoding and executing that is the exact definition of a processor processor is a program control device which perform fetching and decoding and execute the instruction how it where it will fare which which unit will fetch the instruction bus interface unit which unit will execute the instruction execution unit what are the registers can consist of execution unit general purpose registers stack pointer register stack pointer and base pointer index register source index and destination index registers right one arithmetic logic unit arithmetic logic unit see so if you understand this then we can clearly understand what will perform right al comma 04 that 04 is source and destination is al so the data which is available here that will goes to the al al is 04 05 will goes to the here right after that add al comma bill after addition where it will store again in the al it will be stored what is the size of AL register? What is the size of AL register? 8 bit. What is the size of AL register? 8 bit. Just now I told. 8 to 15. Right? AL is the 8 bit. Right? So this is the explanation of our execution unit. So in the next class, what we will explain? You tell me. In the next class, clearly we will explain what is the register organization of 8086. Registers, what are the there? What is the use of AX? What is the use of BX? What is the use of CX, DX? pointers index register each registers we will clearly explain the next class until then thank you thank you my dear students